Ruth, where do you come from? Prestatyn, that's in North Wales, on the coast. And what is your language at home? English, all the time. Why are you here? To try to learn Welsh, to try and improve speaking Welsh. Is that necessary to be able to speak Welsh in Wales? No, it's not necessary at all, really. But I thought I'd like to learn to speak Welsh. Why? Because I think we are Welsh and we should speak the language that, that is our language. Jacqueline? I'm English. I moved from England when I was 11, from Sheffield, moved to Wales and started learning Welsh in the second year, starting high school. So you're both uh, speaking Welsh all the time now? No, no. We're trying our best in, in this camp to try to learn to speak. We're learning, learning it in school, but um, we need practice on speaking it. We can read and write Welsh fairly well, but it's the speaking we need to improve. Erd Gobaith Cymru, Gwersyll a Chanolfan Hyfforddi Glanllyn, uh, the Welsh League of Youth Camp and Training Centre. Is that the literal translation of Erd Gobaith Cymru? Uh, not really. Erd Gobaith Cymru means the League uh, for the Hope of Wales. What is the purpose of this training centre then? Well, uh, Glanllyn is a centre uh, run by Erd Gobaith Cymru. Uh, to put over the principles of the earth to the young people, to the members of the earth. So the earth is an organisation then, a national organisation? Yes, it's a national youth organisation throughout the whole of Wales. Is it political? Oh, it's non-political and non-denominational. What do they do here? Well, young people from all parts of Wales come here during the summer and in the winter as well. Uh, they come here to sail, to canoe, to row, to walk the mountains around and to meet each other. And the language spoken at the centre, is that always Welsh? Oh yes, it's always Welsh. David, why are you here? Uh, because well, it's a nice place and uh, everybody's happy here and everybody speaks Welsh for a week and uh, we have a lot of fun here speaking Welsh and there's a true feeling of Welshness here. I think Glanlin uh, concentrates Welshness uh, for one week for the children that come here to counteract the so many other English influences that there are in Wales, television, comics and books. So there is really a need for uh, this camp to keep the Welshness alive? Oh, I believe so, yes. Um, you know, children come here for a week and uh, Welshness is concentrated for one whole week and uh, they go from here I think, uh, fired by Welshness. Why do you come here? Well, I think it's a very good idea to encourage people to speak Welsh, you know, because we don't get any practice in the south where I come from, but we just sort of like come here and we get the practice here as well. But you are Welsh? Oh yes. yes. And you don't speak Welsh at all? No. <laughs> 
the language used in the English channel time, because no, nobody speaks Welsh right now. In this English, like Cardiff, uh, they couldn't speak Welsh at all, really. Why do you want to speak Welsh? Well, I started learning it at school, and uh, I think it, it was a very nice language to learn. And uh, coming here has made me more enthusiastic about it, I think. You see what I mean? <laughs> Uh, is it a difficult language? No, not really. Uh, I do German, and I've did I've done French as well. French is quite easy, but uh, compared to German, it's much easier, I think. If you can speak Welsh, I think that you're then a proper Welshman. If you can speak your home language. There are many people, Welsh people, who say you don't need Welsh, you can get along very well with English. What is your opinion about that? Mm. Um, well, I think people who say, oh, you don't need Welsh, I don't think a country can really be called a country unless it has its own language, it's called England, and they speak English there. So I think this is Wales, you should be able to speak Welsh. I think people, more people, should you know come to realise that it's a matter of, you know, pride that they need to speak Welsh rather than, you know, just use English from day to day. What language do you speak at home? I speak Welsh at home and also in, well, everywhere around where I live because nearly everybody speaks Welsh there. How many people in Wales speak Welsh as their first language? I'm not sure of the exact uh, number, but I would think about one third of the people of Wales speak Welsh. That means one third of two and a half million. Exactly, yes. My shoon is store on the nursery. Our queen's device in three day green. We shall marry the random who. What is the song about? Well, it's a song of protest, really, um, on behalf of the youth in Wales, because um, they feel that the Welsh language doesn't get its proper <laughs> um, sort of share, share yes, yeah, in, in Wales. So it's a song about that, really. It's in the uh, faith that the uh, Welsh language will sort of <laughs> uh, live on. And do you think uh, the Welsh language will live on? Yes. Does this song help? Um, yes. It, um, we can express ourselves in Wales better through song, I think, than um, speak it out. <laughs> and, uh, that's the. What's the song of songs about? Glen Flynn. What does that mean? Glen Flynn is the name of this camp. This summer camp where we all come to. Have you been here before? Yes, I've been here about, um, this is about my tenth time. 
Why do you come here? Um, I come here because I enjoy living for a week in the atmosphere of total Welshness, really, and enjoy the company of other people. And for, for one whole week, you can speak nothing but Welsh here, no English at all, which well, is a great opportunity for me to keep up my Welsh. Uh, do, do you speak Welsh at home? Um, sometimes. My parents are both Welsh speaking, but um, I was brought up speaking English, so and my brother speaks only English, so we t do tend to speak a lot of English at home. Do you find it difficult to speak Welsh? Um, well, I used to, but I'm getting more fluent in it now. Although, of course, I'm not as fluent as, as if it was my first language. Where did you learn Welsh? started learning it in school, and then um, in the fifth form, I came here for the first time to help me with my O-levels. And I took a great interest, because it's such an interesting place to learn the language in. Do you find Welsh important? Yes, it's, it's very important. Why? Right? Because it makes us more of a whole nation, we've got our own language, and why shouldn't we speak it? Um, but you say you usually speak English at home. Why don't you speak Welsh at home then? Well, now that I've learnt Welsh more and I'm more fluent in it, I do try and speak it with my parents. But uh, they're a bit lazy about it, really, because they're used to speaking English with me. And um, I spend a lot, a lot of the year now in England because I'm a student there. And it, my Welsh tends to get a bit rusty when I come home. <laughs> so that is why you come here? Yes, it's like a sort of a, a rebirth of Welsh for me every summer. There wouldn't be anywhere in Wales where you would find a typical Welsh village then? Well, there are few, but uh, they're getting fewer, I'm afraid. But there is one village quite close to here uh, called Llanuchlin, uh, which is, I think is a typical Welsh village where every family is Welsh and in fact where people from outside Wales come to live and uh, they learn to speak Welsh so that they fit into the community. Mrs Edwards, you're a teacher here in the village. What's the language they use here in the schools? Well, the children go to school when they are four and they already speak Welsh. So all the lessons take place in Welsh, in the village school. And they can go, when they're about two and a half, to a nursery school here, which is um, not compulsory, really. And they speak Welsh there as well. So first of all, the children start school when they are four? Yes. Everybody does? Yes, here, yes. And then they speak Welsh, you say, when do they start speaking English? They start learning English when they are about six to seven. Orally first, like we learn a few verse, uh, poems or nursery rhymes, and then they start reading English. Is that the first contact they get with the English language? Uh, not really now, because we have television programs. Of course, we have some Welsh television programs, but as well we have English programs for little ones. What happens then when people move into the village who don't speak Welsh at all? When people move into the village, they can go to evening classes, which take place every evening in the school. Vain si, how many? Vain uh, di, how much? How there? Now tell. Dyma, dyma the ma diem pel droid camri, soccer team, Wales soccer team. Frank. Faint si mewn tîm peldroed? Uh, un a ddeg si mewn tîm peldroed ac un arall fel rhyser. Da iawn. Faint si mewn tîm um, hoci? Um, un deg un. Un deg un, da iawn. Um, beth am dîm rygbi? Da chi'n gwybod am faint si mewn tîm rygbi? Yeah, pump deg. Pump deg, da iawn. Pump deg, 15, da iawn. Now, Tony, mae... Um, Rugby are at you guys, rugby league. Vines is mount team rugby league. Uh, Ian deck uh, three, uh, dim uh, Ian deck pedal. Die on, <laughs> die on. So, Ian deck three, thirteen. Yeah, yeah. Is there any difference in teaching Welsh to a Welshman and to an Englishman? Oh, yes. To start off with, uh, the pronunciation is difficult for an Englishman. Uh, a Welshman will have heard uh, a lot of the place names and uh, so on, 
uh, with the sounds in them, uh, like Llanu Chlyn, you see, you've got the sounds there, the L, the ch, and uh, the Englishmen, those are not in the English language, that, those sounds. So uh, the Englishman finds it very difficult uh, to start off with in getting the correct pronunciation of some of the Welsh sounds. But the, most of the vowels and the consonants, they are pronounced the same way in English as in Very similar, uh, yes. They're, they're not, it's only a matter of learning when to use the correct sound, uh, which comes up with practice and so on. But uh, the new sounds are the difficult ones for them. And which are the main differences then? Well, uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, isn't it? The, that uh, uh, and uh, and also and if you put them all together in one uh, name, uh, Machenles, uh, an Englishman will find that very difficult to say. Where do you come from? Um, I was born in England, in uh, London, and um, uh, we arrived in Wales uh, four years ago. We're now living in Wales. We, you said? My wife and I. Uh, My wife, Gwen. Uh, Gwen, you come from Wales, then? Yes, South Wales, but um, I lived in England. Oh, I went to England when I was quite small, about three years old. So, English is my first language. When you lived in Wales then, didn't you speak Welsh at all? No, no, not, I'm afraid not much Welsh is spoken in South Wales. Really, it's more in North. Why do you learn Welsh? Well, this particular part of Wales um, is, uh, is, is very Welsh speaking. Do you think it would be difficult to get along in a small village like this without knowing the language they speak? Well, it wouldn't be difficult, but you couldn't, um, it's not impossible, but you couldn't really um, maybe join in the social activities without a little bit of Welsh, at least. You couldn't and integrate, also certainly. Yeah. No, you couldn't really integrate. I think the parents then go to the evening classes because they can hear the children speaking Welsh and they feel that they are left out. So they want to speak Welsh as well and they go to the evening classes to learn to speak. If you could wish something about Welsh and Wales, what would that be? Oh, I think that, um, well, that Wales was self-governing a uh, country that ran its own affairs and that it was um, Welsh-speaking or bilingual, anyway, and possibly trilingual or, or more than that, but that the Welsh language was the official language of Wales, spoken by, well, most of the people. Why would you like them to speak Welsh and not English? Well, because I am Welsh, um, and that we have got a history and a culture and a heritage that should be preserved, the Welsh culture and the Welsh heritage. Um, and because I am Wales, well, I think Welsh expresses the thing that I am, the Welshness, just as English expresses the English uh, personality and the culture, or Swedish expresses the Swedish personality and culture. <laughs> Oh. 
What's the song about? It's about a man, a Welshman, who was imprisoned in a London cell for his actions for the Welsh language. He, he asked the priest to take his prayers back to Wales and to tell his parents why he has died. Do I